you've been a viewer for a while, then you've seen me play these drums. They're a beautiful set of massive DWs. 12 by 14, 16 by 18, 18 by 24, huge rock drums in ultra white oyster, or as I like to call it, negative Ringo. But these aren't my drums. Well, they weren't always. These used to belong to a good friend and mentor of mine, Mike Falzon. Mike passed away unexpectedly a little over 12 years ago. His drums eventually resurfaced, and eventually the opportunity came to me to buy them. I had to. I love these drums. Mike and I used to trade off bringing our kits to gigs, and I loved playing this kit. He used to talk about how much he liked playing mine, the old Slingerland kit you've seen me play a lot on the channel as well. I learned so much about playing just by watching Mike play. Even though I've been playing professionally since I was 15 years old, I think I learned how to hit the drums by watching Mike play when I was 22. You see, Mike played in one of the bigger local bands at the time, Gold Cash Gold. They were definitely one of the IT bands in Detroit for their moment. I was playing in a band that was friends with Gold Cash Gold, and we got to open up for them a lot. Actually, most of the bigger venues I've played in my entire career were opening up for Gold Cash Gold. I should say, too, that Mike really got me that game. I didn't know any of those guys. He gave me their number and told me to call him up, that they were looking for a drummer, and that I was the guy for it. The band leader knew Mike's band because he hung out at the studio that Gold Cash Gold recorded at. When it was time to learn the audition material, Mike was actually the one that handed me the CD he brought out home from the studio. I met Mike working at the drum shop I worked at in my 20s. Mike had worked there years before I did, and then he was in a band that decided to take the jump to New York. The band promptly broke up, but Mike stayed out there and worked as a player for many years, eventually coming back to Detroit for family reasons. He started working at the shop again, and him and I became good friends. Eventually, the owner of the shop and I had somewhat of a falling out, and I left. One of the reasons I left was that I didn't see any upward movement. I wanted to break into teaching, and my boss at the shop wasn't going to let me do that. About a month later, Mike also had a falling out, and he left to start his own teaching studio. This caused an enormous rift between Mike and my former boss. I helped Mike set up his studio, and he promised to get me students once he had enough to keep the doors open. Soon after, my former boss heard about this and offered to have me teach at his studio. I went to Mike and talked to him about it, and he told me to go for it. That it was going to be a while before he was going to be able to give me any students, and that this was the right opportunity for me. I was offered that job because my former boss saw it as a slight against Mike. Mike offered me students when he could and wasn't angry when I took an opportunity that was more beneficial. If it weren't for Mike, I wouldn't be on this path today. I bring Mike up not just to talk about these drums or Mike himself, but as a reminder of what you are and what you can be as a teacher. Teaching isn't something that you turn on and off at a half hour, an hour at a time. It's a way of being in the world, absorbing what's going on around you, internalizing it, and redistributing it to the world. Mike was in and out of my life in a very short amount of time, about three years or so. I never sat down and had a formal lesson with him, yet he's one of my greatest teachers. I learned so much about music and drumming from him. His actions put me in places I would not have been and gave me opportunities I never would have had. Mike mentored me without me or him knowing it. Well, at least without me knowing it, maybe he knew. Mike lived playing and teaching drums. He couldn't help but project that back out into the world. I hope you do the same. I hope you have people you help along and help you along. I hope you have students that aren't on your schedule and teachers you don't pay. I hope you all are and have a mic. Thank you, brother. Let's hit it.